Building India's Educational Future. That's the name of the prospectus that I have uh, written and put together that outlines really the technology and solution for India. Now, my goal for 2010 is I'd like to go to India. I'd like to present, and now the good news, we can educate the world uh, speech that I'm working on for TED and use it as a way to promote the discussion of a FOSS e-singularity platform and to unite corporations, individuals, uh, nonprofits, and other entities behind Eduit's vision of flattening global education and bringing about e-singularity. Now, understand, ultimately all this time what I've been talking about is a software solution. We don't need hardware. If you uh, spend the day watching previews of um, the Consumer elect uh, elect uh, Electronic Show from um, Vegas this year, 2010, it's all about hardware. The fact is, every imaginable bit of hardware we could ever imagine that we would use as an e-singularity um, uh, device has or is being created right now. We don't need any hardware. Secondly, we have all the education open source, uh, what's called open education resources, being developed or in development, or same thing, or develop, that we could ever need or want to flatten education. We have pretty much, if you check out Curriki and all these other stuff, uh, Moodle, there is so much open education resources out there that you, you haven't, an, I haven't a clue. I mean, I don't even have a clue how much is out there, but there's tons and tons and tons of it. And the third thing we need is connectivity. Now, you all know that 80% of the world is connected. Well, you say, well, how is that going to help us because people don't have, um, um, you know, they don't have computers or technology or anything else. Well, the fact is, as I've said before in another lecture, that if all of a sudden we say, okay, here's an iPhone. If you give this child an iPhone or a Nintendo DS or a one laptop per child to or anything else, as long as he can download, you know, as long as we can download and install this platform on, on this device, guess what? It's going to give that child, with very little assistance from anyone else, an education equivalent to an eighth grade education in America or, or Europe or England. Or, uh, and, you know, you don't, you know, the, 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 the device itself ultimately becomes a teacher's aid and ultimately in some respects becomes a teacher. When that happens, what's going to happen is this, is that people are going to, in corporations and so on, all they'll have to do is donate hardware, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, you understand? They don't have to build anything. It's like, oh, here's the hardware, boom, plug it in, it works. The, what we're, the only thing we're missing right now is the software package. Now, the software that I want, that we need to create for a FOSS e-singularity platform, isn't a web page. It isn't some, you know, it isn't a browser, okay? It's a sophisticated piece of software that, that embeds a lot of cutting edge software, such as the, uh, the, the Serigo Learning Engine, which is patented, but if we're giving away education, I know Andrew and I know Eric and I know, the, you know some of the team there, they have no problem us using the, their engine. Um, and probably we'll be able to tweak it and use it and adjust it the way we want. Um, but it's pretty much everything we need is there in the engine that we need. And the engine's important because it keeps track. It tracks. So you need an, a learning engine, which you can't even find. If you look up learning engine as a definition on Wikipedia, I try to do an input. You know, they don't, they, it's one of the problems with Wikipedia. When you're dealing with kind of cutting edge theory and understanding, trying to get, um, someone like Wikipedia to put up an article or, you know, and I'm not an academic, so I'm not going to spend my time writing an article on learning engines. I know what I need. I know it's a learning engine. I know there's, there's one that exists and I'm going to use it. That's kind of like how an entrepreneur thinks. Um, the second thing we need is using 
which would you know it, it would run without this but this is this eliminates a lot of the AI sophisticated um, um, programming is actually using the EEG from uh, software package from something like emotive what that means is as I'm watching it's it's understanding what's going through my brain it's understanding am I understanding it am I not understanding it now maybe I'm being a little aggressive maybe you know it can't right now do that but it will be able to learn for example you could easily train it you have to train the software so what you do is you you show first you show stuff that the kid can understand you show a video okay and the software says, oh, it, like, oh, that's a cat. Oh, that's mama. That's data. It's going to show. Okay, it's going to. Now, you show things it doesn't recognize. You, know, you show maybe things that aren't in its paradigm. And all of a sudden, you understand um, unrecognition. You could play the same thing over and over, and then, and, and then maybe it's new, and then you can, then the software will learn when it gets bored. So it will learn boredom. So, in a way, to train the software through EEG, to learn the to kind of really fool the learner that it really knows is not very difficult, and it could be developed through a, you know through some some games and some other things for the platform. So, having the learning engine, having the uh, emotive EEG technology, are components of the software. The content is going to come from a community just as a community built Wikipedia we're not going to look at universities we're going to look at individuals and now the thing is the community to build it is already in place it's in place with Kariki it's in place with Moodle it's in place with Wikipedia it's in place all over so we have the manpower to basically as long as we have the platform to flatten global education um, the third thing is actually something I'm working on as part of a startup that, that's called edgewitu.com is, is a form of um, social TV um, IP that's going to allow us to actually deliver the content that we need. The content exists, but it, it exists in its raw form. So what we need to do is actually, um, we need to, what's called, um, aggregate the data. So what we're doing is working on some technology that's going to help us with the aggregation of that, of the um, multimedia data that's out there. Because ultimately, the learning platform that I envision isn't text-driven, it's audio-visual driven. And because we're dealing with bandwidth and everything else, we're only dealing with small chunks. So each, you know, each learning object is, no long, is not going to be anything more than you know, three, three minutes long. And if you got to take more than three minutes to teach someone, you know, to, to provide a learning object, then it's not really conducive. Um, you may have to, you, and, and you can maybe watch many of the same learning objects. Um, and there's another component that we're missing, which is on the e-game side, which should be difficult to build. That's it. That's an update. So, my talk started off with, let me check the time. Got a couple minutes. My talk started off with, and now the good news, we can't educate the world. Well, I've just explained to you the good news. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to India, deliver talks, talk about this, and um, provide a country that's in an educational crisis with 50% of the population that's illiterate with a solution that we can build and we can have in place probably within nine months with the appropriate funding and have a beta up probably within a year. Not bad. Let's flatten global education, let's bring about e-singularity and let's, you know, let's let's make it all start happening in 2010.